All righty, let's move across to the U.S. now, where the yeah. Fed has made its decision. Exactly. Not um, as exciting, I think, as the markets wanted it to be. They were looking for a 1% cut in interest rates by the Fed. That is not what they got. We're looking at another move by the U.S. Federal Reserve to keep money flowing as Wall Street battles its biggest crisis since the Great Depression. The Fed cut its key lending rate by 75 basis points to 2.25%. The move tempered the rally among U.S. stocks on Tuesday. Markets had bet on a more aggressive slash of one full percent. And investors are already talking of another cut next month. Tuesday's cut was the fourth interest rate decline this year, and it comes just two days after the near collapse of the investment bank, Bear Stearns. And let's head over to Jens Gorda at the New York Stock Exchange to get a reaction on this. Jens, um, not a cut as large as the market had bet on there. What do you hear on the trading floor? Are people surprised by this? It was a little bit of a disappointment because most people really thought that uh, Fed Chairman Bernie Bernanke would cut rates by a full percentage point and uh, not uh, just by a 75 uh, uh, basic uh, point. So it was a little bit of a, a disappointment and in the initial reaction was um, a, a small sell-off. Um, the stock market had been up more than 300 points and then markets came down quite a bit from that level. So the in initial reaction uh, was uh, a disappointment uh, down here on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. Jens, it's interesting that this decision by the Fed was not a unanimous decision. I think there were two members of the Fed who voted against it. What does that tell us about um, what the Fed's thinking right now? No, exactly. Two uh, Fed members, um, they were actually asking for a lower cut, uh, probably by uh, a half a percentage point. Um, because what we see, and um, the Fed acknowledges that, that the inflation risk has um, somewhat increased. We see that, uh, for example, with um, rising um, energy uh, prices. Um, in the end, we see there is a lot of dissent right now, and um, there's also a lot of criticism um, towards uh, Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke. But you can't really envy him right now. Um, he can't make it right for, for everybody. Wall Street is hoping for as many rate cuts as possible. On the other hand side, more rate cuts mean more pressure on the American greenback, on the U.S. dollar, and it also increases the inflation risk. So who knows, maybe it was the right decision from Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke, but um, obviously a lot of people uh, don't agree with him. Okay. Jens Kord at the New York Stock Exchange. Thank you very much, Jens. And, of course, European markets did not have a chance to react to that decision. They spent most of the day anticipating a bigger cut in interest rates. Let's check those final numbers for you. We're going to go into Frankfurt, where the DAX closed nearly 3.5% higher at 63.93. A similar picture with the Eurostox 50 index, which closed at 35.58. In New York, the Dow Industrials just closed 3.5% higher at 12,391. A little bit of a post-cut rally there after the a slight decline. And on currency markets, as you see, the euro now trading for $1.56.40 U.S. cents.